<laughs> this is not a team that will go to get the premier league title i'm so <laughs> nervous like opening my mouth because i'm like these guys want to like just eat me i'm going to start with the first curtain raiser of this game for this season it's the united versus fulham game nihal what do you think uh, what are your thoughts on the game what are the thoughts on ten hag's defense so far we ended the uh, table toppers on game week 1 first day bro this stopped, stopped the count right? in my head <laughs> yeah yeah no I, shame I, bro no shame right friday night i dreamt of the premier league cup and had facts to back it up aj can you say that bro you can say that before the season maybe because arsenal is the first club on the sheet but dude it's afc uh, bournemouth not arsenal <laughs> afc bournemouth damn bro see second here forever well, second right? aj but jokes aside it was a very nervy game i think some sides of improvements from last season uh, but there are also uh, you know the same things that we've seen from last season all in all in a nutshell i think i'm really happy that we came out with with the three points i actually want to flip the question back to wamsi we like did you did we miss i th- i wamsi always like has this annoying nagging noise in my head saying that we need a left back we need a left back and i think i saw some of the glimpses but wamsi what do you think of dalo in at left bro yeah dalo is not bad dude. Uh, inverted left back even mazrawi can play inverted left back so it's good that we have that flexibility now i think just depends on who the winger is uh, this time we needed him uh, you know we needed him out there him and uh, licha handling adama traore so i think he did well not that good of a threat but you know they still had chances dude we were in some awkward positions and it's the first game of the season but we were in some awkward positions where you know they let two on one maguire and maguire just came through uh, came through with like with that one so definitely feel like there's kings to iron out uh, maybe a two left back prevent such stuff for happening uh, like they know when to come in when not to come in but uh, yeah not bad for a first game if only bruno scores i think once we come back to fitness and the players start scoring definitely an improvement from where we started last season and uh, there's no hiding behind the fact i think if any united fan thinks that like we are going for the title this season they should probably like wake up splash some water on their faces because uh, <laughs> this is not the team that will go to get the premier league title shit together and uh, some decent cup runs and then injuries dude like it feels so weird that i feel like someone at united yelled at eric ten hag for all the injuries and eric ten hag is now like extremely conscious coming out in post game interviews and be like no injuries today that's another bonus no injuries today that's another bonus Uh, I want to see like if he's doing anything to actually like protect and prevent some of the injuries at the club. One thing that is really positive is that if everyone stays quiet, we have more than a half a decent squad to like get our objectives. Sometimes miracles can happen. Miracles will probably be winning a cup or two. But Premier yeah. League, the quality I saw the rest of the weekend, DL the quality is so yeah. damn high. Yeah, it's just. unrealistic you raised a good point like uh, from last season i think what's new this time is that ten hag is trying to you know control the press a little bit they are going like haywire on the press from from the get go it's more of a controlled press so do you think that's because of the injuries or that's because of like just a more cautious approach to the game i think we the new shape is probably also helping right because they're play, we're playing a false nine we are actually overloading that midfield if you think about it there are six personnel including the center backs that are occupying that very tight channel and it's it's different but i think we are only you i don't know if this is going to be his blueprint because he never really had a blueprint mind you he was always like super tactical ad hoc like remember all those ad hoc requests that you get to work something like that shit shit but uh, if i don't know if this is like the new shape or it's forced because we don't have a striker readily available but uh, bro what about this uh, new best signing of the season joshua zerxy like <laughs> yeah and the celebration right i know it was it was nice it was nice someone said uh, he was trying to control it and uh, mm-hmm. i just i don't think i don't think that was him trying to like take a touch it was deliberate poke yeah and that was going in uh, but i'm happy for him dude first game first goal it helps his confidence i think and he's very different he's not like mm-hmm. a proper striker he was actually very deep when he came in he was trying to pick up the balls if you think about it he was actually like instrumental in that move but so that helped out I can't help but notice the Arsenal boys grinning trying to, it's like they're waiting to like jump on us like go for it, AJ, go for it. and like I'm Every so step. nervous like opening my mouth because I'm like these guys want to like just eat me on the screen so Nira please uh yeah no no we're just uh, the observing bro we wanted to hear all the thoughts and then 
you know present our thoughts that's this, how debate this, goes this right? is a very uh, different arsenal <clears throat> perspective bro i'm not used to this like you guys staying on like your humble grounds waiting hmm. for like some peasants to finish talking i mean ultimately like, oh, the final score was 2-0 right so sorry 1-0 right so <laughs> if it was if it was 1-0 on the other side maybe we would be starting the conferger <laughs> but yeah like to uh, be devil's advocate i personally don't think there's uh, a hell lot of like improvement from last season i thought it was the same smash and grab sort of victory where things weren't working out and, uh, then he fixed something something started working out and then he got bailed by a new signing simply that's pretty much it uh, there were a lot of uh, misses obviously in the final third but then that's very normal for his teams it's it's i, I mean, at some point in time you just have to stop blaming the players for all of the misses why does it happen only with ten hag ten hag like outside of the game is just a weird guy like because like he comes out he says things like don't compare us with last year this is a proper back four what do you mean you just have one difference which is the right back that's it you had aaron van bissaka before that who was good enough like i mean if you can't play with him then i mean, it's not a ground breaking like you haven't got someone insane at right back right now that, that there's a change and he feels like he i mean he's gone through a lot of like hardships a lot of uh, um whatever things have been unfair with him last season or whatever and he's come back uh, strong from that it's the same old thing i just feel like the whole situation right now is the same and it's going to end up the same again it's it's a, it's a very weird it's a very weird siege mentality vibe now like not really yeah, not really is, convincing your awkward, own group but you are <laughs> yeah it's an awkward thing and like he's uh, every fucking game he's becoming more and more awkward in interviews i'm not i can't like i can't take that my cringe ma- meter is going max uh, and i see his had one awkward moment with roy keane right like yeah, in, in the yeah, post match already and this is the first and if he keeps winning it keeps getting more annoying i think um but i think like next week is a proper team brighton and then there's liverpool next two games are the actual tests um where we'll see if his team are actually you know ready to perform this year or not but as of now i'm not fully convinced not gonna lie it's also game week one i don't think right. anyone's re- really truly ready but It's a it's yeah. a paradox for me personally yeah. bro because they, I see the same shit from last season but I see hope in terms of new players and like hmm. different shapes new players are always going to give you hope there's yeah. also a new background staff there's everything is new essentially so uh that's there but still it's kind of AJ speaking of new players like what do you guys think how would you like rate the just we had three debuts in in the game so far like like had be sort delict a bit towards the end some mazrawi and we saw zerk he was scored the goal but like pamsi like what do you think about each of these three new signings just like at the first glimpse of what we saw yeah i mean not for like zerk he announcing himself mm. i guess like on his he was really good for the part that he was there i saw like rashi actually making the runs opening up space for him and i'm like oh my god who is team is this like they understand all this shit the understanding space and stuff now so it's baby mm-hmm. it's baby steps uh slowly i think we have players now who understand different things in the game which we didn't have last season uh it was just it was just passion football like honestly we just had to get 11 players on the pitch last season if you think about it like that was hard for us so this hopefully this season starts completely differently to that like no, we're not like trying to be a signed in of players of course zergzi uh, looked really good delict uh, no pressure moments maguire did most of the most of the job so like good intro for him clean sheet uh, i feel like he he knows like the players are not ready masravi got good minutes uh, i want to see him against like a proper premier league winger like like a salah maybe like you know like mm-hmm. maybe even a bailey for that matter right uh, someone who's like marauding down always like how does he deal with that physicality but on the ball he's so good like he can do things that arman bisaka can't and uh, for ten hag ball that is so much e- so much easier if you want to play ten hag ball right just buy him the players that already know how to do this like, i guess that's, that's how that's what india are doing right like yeah. only dutch or ajax players Yeah and the thing with uh, Ten Hag's team is right just in terms of structures that Nihal was talking about basically like when you commit all those like four or five people forward you have like maybe the three players at the back and maybe as Akase like right in front of them like 
Yeah, the rest of the people left when there's a transition happened. Like right? it's called rest defense, right? In Ten Hag system, the rest defense really needs to know what the structure is, and like they need to understand like if they're playing a pacey winger, then they drop off defend deep because you have numbers. Otherwise, like yeah. you know, Leicha is yeah. like too aggressive, got dusted once by Adama, like you see in like awkward positions. I think once that you figure that out with the new signings in the in the structure, and I think that comes with time. We 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 look really good. I I think we've signed really good players because they fit well into the system. Some, yeah, who the fuck? I've never said this shit ever as a United fan. It feels so weird to say that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, um, it's it's a yeah. volume game, bro. If you buy eight players that played under him, then four of them are bound to play like work well. Well, let's hope because I'm still salty about like how how much Anthony didn't work out. So maybe it takes a lot more than just one week. But early signs are good. I like Masroy. I like him a lot. Like from mm-hmm. what I've seen, in just one game. Uh, Dilit, I don't know. I didn't see him in the game that much uh, because I think at that point we were uh, we 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 didn't have that much of the we, we we were controlling more of the ball at that point. I think so. There was a lot uh, a, a different phase in that game.